Hockey is joining a university currently mired in scandal. A third lawsuit was filed this afternoon against LSU after a series of allegations of sexual harassment, sexual abuse, and cover-ups have rocked the campus. This time, seven women who say they were victims of sexual assault and violence at LSU filed a class action suit against the university, saying their claims were ignored to protect athletes and the money LSU earns from sports. One of those women is Samantha Brennan, who spoke exclusively with our Karen Swenson. And they keep saying that they're gonna, going forward, they're gonna make all these changes, but until they actually until we see the changes, it's hard to say that they're actually going to do it. But it is very frustrating to see other college campuses taking more action against personnel than LSU is. Are you referring to Oregon State? Yeah, and Kansas. Like Les Miles and F. King Alexander. So that's a little bit slap in the face. I just have no expectations for LSU to do the right thing. Brennan is referring to former LSU head football coach Les Miles and former university president F. King Alexander. The suit accuses LSU of creating, quote, a campus culture which tacitly allows trauma to be inflicted upon women and a prioritization of sports and money over academics and student well-being. The class action represents all the students who attended LSU from 2013 to the present day and also alleges the school violated RICO statutes by conspiring to hide the sexual misconduct of athletes. LSU has referred all inquiries to the Hush Blackwell report, which details how LSU handled these and other cases.